In chapter 7 of Romans, the Apostle Paul is contrasting the law that we really can't keep, that we can't obey, versus, well, having a Savior, Jesus Christ. The law, he says, is good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that we can't keep it. It's kind of like a, a doctor if he were to come to you and say, show you an x-ray and say, this is what's wrong with your heart. It's broken. It's sinful. Uh, it's like a spiritual x-ray. But the doctor can't fix it. There's nothing he can do about it. That's the way the law is. It, it reveals to us that we're sinners, that we need salvation, that we can't keep all the things that God requires for righteousness. So we need a savior. And that's what's going on in this chapter, chapter seven. Paul's saying he was like that. He tried it, he couldn't do it. He needed a savior. In fact, listen to these verses from chapter seven of Romans where he says this, it's a, it's a very interesting thing. He says, for I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. I wanna keep it. I'd love to, it's, it's wonderful. But he says, wretched man that I am, I can't do it. Who will deliver me from this body of death? And then he says, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. With my mind, I wanna serve him, but my flesh can't do it. He says, I'm a wretched man, who will deliver me? And he says, thank God through Jesus Christ. And that's our deliverer. We can't keep the law. We, we do fall short but we have a savior and Paul describes that. He's trying to help the Jews see, you'll never make it through the law. Paul couldn't do it. He says, neither can you, but we can be saved from this wretchedness of ourselves through a savior, Jesus Christ.